here is a multiple choice question bank on polynomial functions. The idea here is to make you understand what polynomial functions are and at this stage if you have any doubts those can be cleared from these uh, multiple choice questions. Okay, so uh, let's try to read and understand. Uh, a lot of questions are based on concepts. The question number one polynomial function in one variable is of the form of f of x equals to a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 so on till a 0 where coefficients a 0 a 1 till a n are real numbers and n is a whole number that is the definition of the polynomial functions which we are dealing with here Remember, there are one variable polynomial functions. Now the question here is, which of the following is a polynomial function? So I have given you six of the functions here, and only one of them is a polynomial function. So go through this list and figure out which one is a polynomial function. More than that, what you should do is reason out why others are not polynomial functions. See, it's a learning process. It is not your test where you just mark one correct answer and move on. You know, the idea of this question is to make you understand the definition and what each and every term in the definition is, right? Now, option A, f of x equals to square root of 2 x minus 1. Is it a function? Well, square root of 2 is a coefficient of x and x is the degree of x is 1. So degree is a whole number and coefficient is a real number. Minus 1. Minus 1. 1 is a constant. Coefficient of x to the power of 0. Okay. So A is a polynomial. Well, that answers our question that A is a polynomial function and others may not be, right? So why others are not polynomial is a question which you should not think about. f of x equals to sine x square. Well, sine is not a real number, right? So whether you're considering this to be a coefficient or, or uh, a part of x, so it doesn't really fit into our definition of each term a and x to the power of n, right? So this is not a polynomial function. You will later see that polynomial functions actually are, cannot be bound from both sides. What I mean to say is that polynomial functions will go from minus infinity to plus infinity if they are odd degree. And they may have a turning point, and they may have both ends. It uh, both ends could be facing the same side. What I'm trying to say is that a polynomial function may have an absolute minimum or an absolute maximum, uh, but then it has only one bounding on the range. Sine function has bounding on both the sides, right? Sine function, the basic parent functions between plus and minus one, right? So it is bound from both the sides. So sine function is not a polynomial function. C, 1 over x. Here, x is to the power of minus 1. Remember, n is a whole number. So n cannot be minus 1. The degree. f of x equals to 2 square root x. Here, what is the degree of x? Half, which is not a whole number, right? E, f of x equals to x square plus 2xy. We have two variables here. So it's not a polynomial in one variable. And f, f of x equals to x to the power of 2.5. 2.5 is not a whole number. So that's the reason for others not being a polynomial function. Okay? I hope you understand it. Move on to question number two. Thank you.